Good morning. I got asked by a, a commenter on my, on my channel asking how how they find directions in an HGV. A simple answer is Google Maps on your smartphone. And in this video, I'm going to try and explain how I use Google Maps on my smartphone just to get to these addresses in a lorry. Stay tuned. I have to take this opportunity to say thank you to my valued subscribers, 200 plus, 200 plus subscribers. Thank you so much, each one of you. Much valued subscribers, I appreciate. It has been a dream. Quick things. I'm going to split it, try and do it. Uh, um, quick easy explanation nowadays on your smartphone you will find this google maps this one here in it tap it comes with obviously you need a google account otherwise you will not even get that that app on your phone you just bought these earphones from uh, from asda's just the shop that i'm at right now Looking at the back, I'm just getting a random address that I can show you with. At the attributed by As the Stores Limited, Leeds LS11 5AD. All you need is LS11 5AD. You know, you just go L S. You don't even need to do the capital and not capital. It will find it. 11 LS11. 5 AD, it's already found it, but let me just finish it off. 5 A D. See, it doesn't matter whether it's capitals or no capitals. If that address is genuine, it will find it. It's 172 miles from where I am. Now, once you open it, it's, it gives directions or start. It's quick thing is start. That way, it will draw the thing quickly. If you press directions, it will show you. The directions without actually starting the plan so once you get that as a tracker the main thing you want to do is to make see an overview so you're going to pinch especially it's on the exit of the area and the arrival of the area you're going such a long distance means that it, you'll be on the motorways anyway awesome viewers gorgeous women and handsome men you all are Guys, I'm in a good mood. <laughs> I just had a nice weekend. Hope you all did. Um, 200 subs. Hey, finally. Woohoo. Anyway, back to the topic. There's three sorts of roads to deal with in your truck. First is the M roads, the motorways. Next, you have A roads. And then you have B roads. No. The idea is you avoid... You prefer motorways in a lorry. You next prefer A roads and then you least prefer B roads. B roads are the worst. They are local roads, normally one route. They, uh, there's no dual carriageway and they're so small. You want to go there as a last alternative. If that's the last route for you to the, to the final address, then you have no choice but to use it. I've got an address in here. Yeah. This one is, in, is is local, which normally they, they're going to give you local journeys. Well, say like the one, the job that I'm doing. This address, if we just ignore what it is, let's just look at the shape. I don't want to lose too much time. It shows you two routes. I've just chosen a place near, my, near me, 15 minutes away. Now, in a truck, it has the blue route that is suggested for you. And then it has this other alternative, the gray one, yeah, the slower one. Sometimes you're going to have to take the slower one just so you can have a, a tracking journey, sensible tracking journey, acceptable, let us say. Sometimes they will not even accept you in the bad route. Now, looking at shapes, if you haven't subscribed yet, touch the button, share this bit. More content coming. Keep telling me what to do. Keep telling me what you want to see. Keep me telling me how to improve. Keep interacting with me.
moments are the best things. This is a better one because it has less turnings. If you come out of here, you only go here, T-junction, turn left, then T-junction left, then bare left, you know, bare left, and you go up there, one right hand turn, second right hand turn, left turn, right hand turn, you're there. If you use the other one, the other alternative, uh, the gray one, if you see it's got one very sharp turning, this one, yeah. I've not been there with the lorry, but I can tell you that that turning is harder than any other turnings on the suggested route. So yes, sometimes yes, you have to go because of a certain reason. If they have asked you to pass there, yes, you pass there. All in all, once you put in the address and this thing, it starts to show you where you're going, you want to see the shape of the road. That's the key thing about trucking. If you see so many turnings, you don't want to go because lorries aren't good on that. That's the main, main thing. So you're looking at the shape. You get into the shape of the road. I'm saying the main thing is to just look at the overview of the map. I know everyone can sort of get their way, um, get the directions. That's not the tricky bit, typing in. You can always even type the business name. You can type POG, Charlton, and then just say confirm it and it will take you. So getting the, the info in is not the hardest thing, but to uh, analyze that uh, data for a tracker is where the difference is going to be. Sub to my channel if you haven't had the chance, please do it and give me support we grow this channel together you comment on my thing you tell me what to do which topics you want and everything and stay safe have a nice week speak to you soon Ta.